as soon as I made the first shirt for the cactus, that Hawaiian shirt that matches mine from the dollar store, as soon as I made that, I knew I had to do some sort of cactus fashion show, a lookbook, something, and I finally, finally did it. So everyone, if you would find your seats, the show is about to begin. All right, people, take the lights, ready music, ready camera one, ready alloy, and take music, take camera one, go for alloy. <laughs> Fade music, hold camera one, fading three, two, one. We are out. Good job, everyone. Yes. It was a seven outfit. I think it was supposed to be eight, but I had to cut one. I had to cut the DJ outfit. It wasn't my favorite. The basis of the cactus fashion show, I knew I wanted to do it on a mini scale. He's a small cactus. The outfits are miniature. So instead of me doing like a green screen backdrop or anything, I always think in practical effects. So I was like, I'll just make literally a mini fashion show. I'll work inside of a, a box. So my mom brought home this box randomly and i was like i need that <laughs> it's really loud in here because of the fan i'm gonna cut to a different clip of me talking about this but basically this is the box and i decorated the whole inside and i forgot these lights are from the the p.o box i took this is actually one of the cactus lights that i get in the p.o box this is like the perfect uh stage so i wrapped this in some tissue paper i got from the dollar store this is, I think this is the Cactus Fashion Show sign. Um, I lined this box with black poster board. This is like a reversible, just like sheet. I got that from the dollar store. My mom made a bunch of these origami chairs and this is where the Cactus Fashion Show was. I put um, these plant guys, <laughs> these plant guys, all of us fellow, his groomsmen were the guests as well. I put little eyes on them. I had my mini hands. Basically we had the show like this and then I had Alloy and his different outfits and my mom pulled the stage while I also moved or zoomed in to make it look like he's moving and we did different angles. I made the farmer outfit on my Instagram live one day. The overalls are made out of blue jeans. The little shovel is from something I got in the P.O. box. And then the hat is made out of an egg carton that someone suggested was the way to go. The influencer outfit is stuff from the dollar store. I made the tie-dye shirt cut from a piece of paper. And the verified sticker on a stick is from when I got verified on TikTok. That was a prop from that video. The World Traveler outfit is stuff all from the P.O. box. There's this nice woman named Lynette. She sends me some fun stuff. That's where the passport came from. The shark head and the fanny pack are all from the P.O. box. The quarantine gal outfit, I did make the face mask out of a real mask. The popcorn's from the dollar store and the TV is a prop I got on eBay. And I cut out the little Netflix logo and put that on there and it actually does light up. It's actually pretty cool. The Dunkin' Junkie outfit is just reused from the Halloween video that I did. And I took one of their bags and wrapped it around the pot. The Holiday Hooligan outfit, I believe the hat is from a company called Tiny Hands Club. They sent it to me. The two props in the back are from Lynette from the P.O. Box. And then I made the ugly Christmas sweater as part of uh, a TikTok video that I did. The party animal outfit again is just a mix match of extra props that I had. So the red solo cup and the beer are from the cactus wedding. The playing cards and the duck are from the P.O. box. And then the party head at the top is from the birthday video that I did on TikTok. Alloy, the secret agent outfit, that is uh, his tux from the wedding. The tiny mini hands are from the tiny hands glove. And the gun is part of a keychain. I bought like this mini silver gun on a keychain at a garage sale one time for 50 cents because I thought it looked cool. Do you see how bad the lighting is in here? How bad it is? I hate it. This overhead light, sun went down. I got overhead light. I had a ring light. Where did it, it must be in the other room. I bought this ring light a couple of months ago. I opened it on this channel. Um. I don't really like it. It doesn't hold my camera. It doesn't hold my phone upright. It's chunky. It's in the way. It's a, like a spotlight. There's no fill. So I went and bought some fill lights on Amazon. I'm going to open up those today. Otherwise, I'm going to put you right here. Hey, you'd have to be back there for it to work. Maybe I'll move y'all. 
Y'all wanna go on a tripod? Okay, now y'all are sitting on a different tripod through the ring light, which doesn't hold my camera, so that's pointless. So now I'm gonna get fill lights. We gotta put it together to make sure it works, because if it doesn't, it's out of here. Also, I'm gonna... You have to ignore the mess. You have to. You have to? There's also this wig on the ground. There. Cute. 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 This is why I don't wear my hair down. It's in my mouth. How do you guys do that? Oh, something. Features. Awesome. <gasps> that just shocked me. Did you see that? <sighs> It's a light bulb, and as I picked it up, there's so much static energy coming from the styrofoam. It shocked me and turned on for a second. What am I, Albert Einstein? Look how big this light bulb is. That almost just killed me. If that's a light bulb, then I'm guessing this is a light bulb because it's two lights. I'm guessing this is one of the stands. Yes. Oh, here we go. How does one... Yes? Oh, oh. Yeah, definitely left a mark. Whoopsies. How do these lock? This doesn't lock, ever? That just fell off. Oh, and another piece fell off. Wow, we're off to a great start. What could this possibly do? You want this to be like this, like maximum wideness. Okay, there's one stand. Let's just do one for now. What is this? Mount Dog. Is that the company? Mount Dog? What a weird company name, okay. Ooh, a little velcro action so this should be like the hood for the lights this is what we open up what are we loosening what keeps this big oh okay does this do oh it fell off again okay all right okay <laughs> it looks like an umbrella Ooh, take me away mary poppins what is this is this nothing is this for me to keep this little cover this goes on here how? Why would that make sense? Look, I'm pushing on this and it's going down. Aren't you supposed to be locked in place? These aren't made for tough girls. I didn't see one instruction book, by the way, while we're doing this. Does this twist on here? This ain't doing nothing. What does this go to? I can't get one instruction book. That's what keeps that in place. That? It's already leaning. This? That's what this does. I think this is for a soft box. Yeah. So you can have the light or you could put this little shield on it and it makes it like a soft light it diff diffuses is that the right word it diffuses the light i went to school for this stuff i should know <laughs> is this gonna shock me again oh my gosh i just changed two light bulbs in my room the other day you're telling me all i gotta do is plug this bad boy in and this should work well would you look at that look at that little on off button oh okay sir that changes the whole room let me put the other one together I figured it out. Okay, I got the two box. Oh, I have a podcast on. Hold on. I got the two box lights set up. So this is with my ring light, how this looks. It only throws light in this direction. So let me turn it off. <laughs> this is with only the overhead light in my room. And these are kind of blocking the view. So let me move my, whatever this is called. Ring light. Move that. I'm really bad at lighting, but the basic concept is that you want balanced lighting. Usually you'd have a, like a spotlight, a fill light, and a backlight is normal like three-point lighting for interviews i believe this is with this one light on so that's that and they're at weird angles one's right next to you this one's kind of right here then you could have like a backlight if i had the ring light this light this light would be light all around it looks decent if i really had time to set it up i think it looks decent if i was like back here doing stuff and explaining stuff there's a little more light in here oh my goodness back up cactus back it up terry but yeah, like how much light these are throwing in this room in general, this is so much better than what it was. Glad I bought these. They seem like they're gonna be good. And I got them on, I got them on sale. Okay, so if you haven't seen it already on my other social media platforms, me and Alloy have a very special announcement. We've got eyeballs on this side and then sunglasses on this side. He's versatile. Okay, so a year ago from February 4th, that's when I posted the Alloy the Cactus video. The original video in my bathroom went mega viral. Um, and that's how my whole journey of content creating started, how it got kickstarted. And I've been creating content for years, but for my, my friends and maybe their boyfriends or sisters or their family, you know, just people I know. But posting that video on TikTok changed my life in so many ways. And I think I'm still the same person. I hope I'm always the same person. And all I want to do is make videos and be creative and make people laugh. I mean, that's the goal. I don't think... 
you'll ever know how much it means to me all the comments and the likes and watching the videos and how a lot of you are like i've been here since the alloy the cactus video that means so much to me and i think this year has meant so much to me and it's so hard to process sometimes um just how crazy um, life can be and has been and i don't really know exactly what i'm doing in the future with social media and a career but i will always make content and i'll always be creative <laughs> i cry so much on the internet um because that is who i am and that's what i like to do so with that let me <laughs> stop crying can you believe i put makeup on to cry <laughs> what was the thought process behind that christine it's been a year since i posted the original cactus video in my bathroom um i teamed up with a small business that i found on tiktok they're called sisters keep drawing it's three sisters it's jules shay and rory they started their own businesses last year and um they post videos on tiktok where they take you know videos and media clips and they make these awesome posters and drawings with the words and they create this whole story on paper and i've always been a fan so we have collaborated on a poster from from the alloy the cactus video let me take them out of these sleeves i'm gonna put like an insert shot in but they literally took the script and just made this awesome poster of all the words and whatever I was saying. So I just took a late night trip to Walmart. There's literally me in the blue tie-dye sweatshirt I wear a lot. Um, it says, I don't know how to take care of you. And it's me wearing more tie-dye with my dog. Like even my dog made an appearance in the poster. There's just so much stuff. There's <laughs> When I said I'm going to call my mom in that video, there's me with alloy in a picture. And they like even the green case around this like phone that they use is the case around one of the prop phones that i use in my videos there's so much detail this part looks like dunkin donuts skike coloring there they have like an orange and purple kind of coloring on their branding he's wearing um the hawaiian shirt and the sunglasses in here i mean it's just amazing they put the whole script on this poster i love having something that i can look at while i'm creating other things and be like I mean, look, look what one idea did. If you guys want to buy this poster, it comes in this size. It's an 8x10 or an 11x14, or you can buy digital prints. So you can make it your phone background. You can put it on a mouse bed. You can put it on a blanket. You could make a mini picture out of it and put it next to your cactus that you have because so many people bought cactuses after that video. We are selling them on the Sisters Keep Drawing Shopify page. I'll put the link in the description, link in the comments. That You're supporting me. You're supporting, you know, this small business. And I just think it's great all around. And I'm, I'm just glad I have a poster because i'm getting this framed for sure i'm i'm surprised alloy is still alive okay that's an accomplishment in itself so thank you guys for everything this past year from when that video went viral on tiktok um has been amazing to say the least and i could talk about it all day and i could cry about it a lot but just thank you thank you so much and i hope you have a great day bye <laughs>